Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. We're making this uh, at ungodly hours in the morning because I was thinking to myself, okay, I was originally going to do two World of Horror episodes under the assumption that I was going to monetize both of them. Last episode is a bit of a weird one, so I decided to not monetize it. And so, yippee, two monetized episodes went to yippee, two monetized episodes is what we're doing right now. It's Look Who It Is. Welcome back. And we're here. T-C-K-R. So, I feel like I'm kind of ready to make the tier list. I, I'm kind of stuck in my ways, and because I only play, like, one run a day, typically, I guess when I'm doing a backlog, I do a lot more. But I, I kind of just wanted some more experience with Jury, and I kind of wanted some more experience with Yumiko. I don't think there's any reason to rank the special character, because their gimmick is they, they literally break the game. So I think that for the 100% completion reward character, we don't have to. Like, we, we don't have to rank them. It's fine. They literally are, hey, the game is broken now because I'm the special character at the end of the game, you know? You, you, you're playing Diddy Kong Racing, you've unlocked all the racers. Um, th this is Stolen Valor because the only Diddy Kong Racing knowledge I have is just from the Uber Danger video of who made Warframe. Which uh, is pretty real. I don't know who made Warframe. So I think what I want to do is we're going to play Jury. And I'm going to press this button right here. All random unlock perk cards. And then I'm going to take my headphones off because I don't want to listen to the World of Horror OST right now. I apologize. I would like to listen to a song that I specifically have in mind. Uh, one on my iPhone, so I have to put my headphones in. And, uh, you know, I've had these headphones for so long that they finally started to, like, break a little and they have a weird quirk where the volume controls on the headphones don't work anymore. So I have to adjust my volume with my phone, which is the greatest indignity that mankind has ever suffered. But they still work perfectly fine. There was like a day where if I wiggled the cord, it would like go really quiet, but that stopped. And it hasn't done that for like a week. So we win these. We take those chat, we win these. Um, after the last episode, I, uh, my dog needed to go outside because she woke up and she's like, hey, why aren't you in bed yet? And it's like, uh, you know, insomnia. And she's like, oh yeah, true, true, so true, bestie. So we went on a walk and it was Arctic out there. It was freezing. And of course, I didn't look at the temperature outside before walking out the door and I was too lazy to go back inside and put on proper appropriate clothes. So I was just walking around in a t-shirt, freezing my butt off. And, uh, obviously pants, but, you know, the t-shirt was the big thing, because he's a short sleeve t-shirt. Um, so by appropriate clothing, I do mean weather-appropriate clothing. Thank you very much. But, uh, what are, we, what are we doing today? I don't know. And by that I mean I'm just typing, I'm just typing words. And the thing, I, I've talked about this so much. When iTunes forcefully synced all of my song names and it undid two days of effort of renaming every Toho song to the English translation version of the name, so I'm expected to remember what... Uh, and this is one word, by the way, so I know nothing about the Japanese language. And this is in English characters as well. Ashita Haren no Hi Space Kenen Kino. Kino? Ken no Kino. Like, how, how am I supposed to remember, like, ah, yeah, that's so and so's theme? Right? Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Oh, but I know this. It's like the. Da -na 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 -na. I know this person's theme, but I do not remember their name. It would be great if it was just named, if it kept my name that I manually entered, that I spent two days manually entering every single name so that I could actually remember what the song's names were. 
It would be really great if iTunes didn't screw me like that. Thank you. I've been having a lot of fun playing Jury recently, so here we are. Uh... We'll do Spider God. I think Spider God is, like, non-disruptive for what I want to do, but also, like, difficult enough that it's not, like, a cop-out. You know what I mean? All right. I can't wait for this. We're gonna cook, okay? I'm, I'm still trying to figure out who, whose theme this is for Toho. And I could just look it up, and I'm gonna feel really dumb if I look it up, so I'm not gonna look it up. I'm still mad about that iTunes. There was some other thing that I was gonna talk about. Like, I was cooking the anecdote while I was outside. It was the only thing keeping me warm. And I was like, oh yeah, that anecdote's gonna go hard. And then I get in, and I'm like, I'm gonna lie down for like five minutes, and then try to go to sleep. And then I was like, wide awake. And I was like, okay, yeah, we're we're not cooking. We ain't cooking shit. And so we're just gonna see Moriko on the TV real quick. I'm gonna remember the anecdote the moment the recording's off, and I'm gonna be like, damn it. Moriko does not Moriko does not exist. There she goes. Right. So it's look who it is. What are we doing? We're getting EXP. We're wearing the drip. And we're going. We're off to the races. So the thing about Jury, very simple thing about Jury, you want to do quick, fast mysteries. I'm going to do this just because, but we could... Yeah, I think, I think we sell these, right? I'm not a big fan, honestly, of the monkey wrench in this situation, but it's more important. Okay, that just kind of sucks. We could potentially die here, but I can't take the four, per the eight percent on the horror meter. So that's just something that you have to live with, right? That's just something like you've already taken too much on the horror meter. You gotta gotta taper yourself off a little bit. But I was thinking about a few ideas. We actually have. A, uh, a, a three cans of Pinto Beans member now. So since I am going to be deciding on the next series soon, TM, that means that they get to decide. So I'm thinking, I'm cooking, I'm being devious, all right? And I, I'm contemplating what should the options be, okay? I'm contemplating on what I think the options should be. And, of course, they're all insane, all right? Like, I want you to know that I would never put something that is just, like, a normal game on there. Like, I would never do that to you. And let's see. It's look who it is. Let, 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 me, let me workshop a few things to you, all right? We got Path the Ghost, Perpetual Motion Machine, Alyssa, a game by Casper Crows, and... I was thinking Gloomwood, but I don't know if I want to do Gloomwood. Because, like, first of all, it's scary. I bought it mostly to support the developer because I thought the, the demo was fun. But we could do Gloomwood, but also, like, it's still in early access. And I don't know if that's, like, a game that you want to just, like, play when it comes out. You know what I mean? I, I'm not I'm not wearing this. I'm not wearing this. I'm sorry. I would rather die. I would, I would rather die to 100% Doom than put on that ring. I'm sorry. It may be look who it is. We're we're going to take 80 million damage. Also, why do we take 80 million horror meter, huh? Give me a library book. That's a Tome of Rot. That's not what I asked for. Let's look who it is. Listen, is it a little bit busted? Is it a little bit wacky? Is Jury hitting the gritty a little bit? Yes. But we ball. Okay, you know what? I remembered what the anecdote is, okay? It's disrespect. That's what the anecdote is. So, the main reason why I'm recording these videos in advance is because of... And I'm, I'm gonna do the tried and true classic bit of my static, okay? The static that I'm in. They're not mine, obviously. You know, you don't want to imply something like that. I feel like I make this distinction every single time, and I think it's kind of funny. But, you know, the static that I'm in, the car, the classic cardboard box moment, uh, the bit, okay? 
the most reliable, consistent bit that we have as a group is, and this is going to sound horrible, it's making fun of our main tank. I don't know what it is, but Homie just became the punching bag, and I feel so bad about it because he's like a, a really nice guy, but it, he just gets like slaughtered. Like every single time he does anything, it's like people hate it when men have hobbies, shaking my head. But like, no, seriously, like he gets his ass beat all the time. But I have a genuine grievance. And at this point, it's gone on for so long that it's actually just my fault. But it's funnier if it's not my fault. So we're going to run with that. So, okay, 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 okay. So I think I've done this anecdote before, but we were doing P11S. And this was the last P11S that we would have to do because the person who gets us our taxi for... 12 is my co-healer okay love him amazing love my co-healer he gets us our taxi to 12 and every time the server resets on tuesday he goes into party finder he clears 11 and so he has cleared 11 eight more billion times we're, we're getting derailed here uh illegal website that i would never use I'm typing... I'm not typing his name. I'm not typing his name. I would never do that. Uh, he has, like, nine recorded kills on this, but I he has to have more. Because, like, we've been skipping... First of all, we have all of our clears on it, and then we've been skipping it for, like, 80 years. So I feel like he's been in a lot of groups that aren't using uh, illegal barsing software. But, um... Yeah, he goes in, he gets a taxi, he clears it for us. So he, he's he got... Besides the weapon, he's biz. Besides the weapon, he's biz. He only needs the weapon. So this was our last clear. And the only person who needed gear... Well, this is actually... This, we're getting to a plot twist later. Foreshadowing is a narrative tool and device. But the only person who needed gear was me. Was your homeboy. Was your boy right here. I was the only one who needed gear. And so the only thing that I needed, because I used my books to buy something else, was the chess piece. And so we get to the end of the fight, and I need for the chess piece. I say out loud, I'm getting the chess piece, or my co-healer is getting the chess piece. And he says, my co-healer, no, that's fine. I don't need it. I'll pass on it. You can have it. And then... I hear, like, there's a lot of banter and, like, stuff going on, and I hear, like, 20, 30 seconds later, our main tank say, okay, nobody needs the chess piece, right? I'm gonna take it for glam. And then he needs it. And he wins the roll. And this was the final one we were doing, because nobody, like, my static gets tired this is not necessarily healthy but it works for us because we always have somebody who's willing to be the taxi slave is that my static doesn't want to do the previous fights like the moment we can we want to move on to the next fights like immediately right like we oh uh geez i wasn't really expecting to miss it in an 87 percent chance I'm, I'm getting a little cold feet right now um, we win these? Yeah, we, we win these, chat. We win these. Easy. Obviously. And so, I didn't get the chess piece. And everybody was just collectively like, oh god, we're gonna have to do this fight again. I don't want to do this fight again. I'm screaming. I'm screaming way out deduction. Dedu Even though we've had to take reason twice in a row now, that's amazing. So, you know... Everybody's like, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this fight again. And they're they're pissed off at him. And I decide to say, and this was a month ago, so this is like four sessions, five sessions ago. Actually, it was probably six sessions ago now that I think about it. Actually, no, I'm incredibly dumb. We raid twice a week. So this was like nine sessions ago, ten sessions ago. Uh, I was like, no, 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 I don't mind. Even though we raid on Tuesdays and I barely have any time to do it, I'll just go into Party Finder. And I was really busy for the whole month, and I never had the energy to do it, like ever. I never had the energy to do it. And so I have been sitting on P12S with my stupid goddamn Pentamelda Diodokos 
chess piece, and then everything else besides the weapon is biz. And it's like, we're hitting 2% in rage. Now, the reason why we got to 2% in rage is that all the DPS died during the final outspread. Thank God for that, by the way. All the DPS died to the outspread. And what, and uh, please stop giving me running shoes. I would appreciate it. All the DPS died to the outspread. And what ended up happening was the Fizz ranged. God bless her. She just shot the machinist orbital laser off the stage for fun. And you know what? We stand. We stand a queen. Get it? Because machinist has. I'll. I'll because machinist's abilities are named after chess pieces, and their most powerful one is called queen. I'll. Uh, I'll let myself out. Anyways, it was really funny. So, we've gone, like, a month, and I still don't have the stupid chess piece. Blood Frenzy is pretty cool, actually. I'm, do I'm down with that. Let let's Do I want to get this injury cured? I kind of do. Let's get that injury cured. But yeah, so I'm just like... I I'm gonna beat up... I'm gonna beat up my main tank. I, got I gotta do them like that. I'm sorry. Like, it, it just... I wasn't expecting to be really busy throughout November, and then just really, really tired. Oh, you son of a... Really? 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 I have to go get this taken care of immediately. Oh, we had a bandage! Well, no, 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 the bandage is for the next one. I I'm just too galaxy-brained for you. The bandage is for the next one. You don't know the level that I'm playing <laughs> World of War at. Oh, God. I couldn't even finish that sentence with a straight face. Can, okay, can can you stop? Like, I'm, I'm being serious? Like, can you stop kicking my ass? Thank you. Plus one charisma moment. They're beating my ass in the quote retweets. Hopefully never. That would make me cry. We get vital clued as like a little treat. I am... Listen, we are one dexterity away from imminent death. And I think that's really funny. And it's never. I'm never gonna. We're getting rid of it once the horror catches us. I'm not walking into eight percent horror meter for fun. Oh, this was ramen. For some reason, I thought it was arms. Like I have some sort of like horrible brain disease, and I thought that was arms. And I was like, oh, we're gonna fight a boss. That sucks. So we're stacking damage, which is very funny. I'm I'm down with that. I don't want to do coma, because our sanity is the part that sucks. But what if we just used our deduction EXP to get sanity, you know? That'd be pretty cool. At any moment, we could just die. Like, the game could literally just say power word kill and we'd collapse dead. So. But yeah, no. So it's like, I, I'm just, I'm the dumbass sitting with just an unoptimal piece of gear when we're hitting 2% in rage. Now, context... Very important context. I am a healer. So, like, my damage is important. But also, like, we would clear if six people didn't die. <laughs> and two people died twice, okay? So our damage is fine. We could get to phase two. Our damage is completely fine. Why, why is she doing four damage? That's, oh, blood frenzy! I... I can't boost. I can't do anything. I'm just wasting time for fun. Please stop giving me injuries. I would really appreciate it. There we go. You're you're done. You're done, Suta-chan. Remember when we called her Tsunami by mistake? That was a good time. So, you know, I I originally felt really bad about it, but I heard they were they were talking about it. They were talking about it. Okay, this is the worst part, is that the the main tank, he off-rolls as ninja, and he's a really big ninja fan, and so we're all like, okay, yeah, you know, it, it, it sucks, but like, you know, I can't believe I did that just to avoid the sanity, because we're going to take three sanity damage at the end here. I can't believe I just did that for fun. But uh, he's a big ninja Andy, and apparently ninja uses the chess piece, and so after we found that out, we were like, please... Please use it on ninja. Open it on ninja. And he was like, oh, I already opened it as tank for the glam. And then he said it didn't even look that cool. And he he might not use it as a glamour piece. 
Oh, that was good. That was good. That was a good bit. That was a good bit. We're going up to 70%. Oh! Look at that. The actions of my consequences, they're here. Six damage, huh? That's crazy. Is it time for Kana to throw hands? What do we do here? Hold on, hold on. Warning, warning, warning. Uh, throw the whole suitcase at him? So that we can walk away with one? That works. Not really, actually. Uh-oh. We're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Kana, do you, do you want to go? No, we need Kana. We definitely need Kana. Why is it giving me Koji perks? It's giving me a lot of those. It's giving me a lot of those, you know? It's giving me a y Yashiro perks, too. The game has been trying. Oh, I should have taken the EXP. That would have been a little bit more valuable. This could actually be... I mean, we have to rest, so maybe not. Oh, it's... Oh, we got fetid fumes. Me when the fumes are fetid. We do a little walking. Th this could be... It's hard to tell because botany is like a long mystery. But I was gonna say that it is entirely possible we get through without the horror catching jury, which is like, that's pretty cool, actually. Which, wait, how is this working? Because we got 46% doom and we got 62% horror meter. Wait, what? I guess, I guess like, we've just been reducing... I, I mean, I guess we have minus 40 horror meter, so I guess that makes sense. But, like, also it doesn't? I'm very confused. We'll take sanity. I don't know if I care about this, you know? I don't know if I care about doing the side quest. I think we just put the police station on the forest and then, like, live our lives. Because this isn't Freaky Feature, this is Botany. It's the same amount of investigations every time. Oh, the stake is to die for, though. That's true. We might end up regretting this, by the way. Because I think it's a little bit easier. I think we gotta take this. Just because, like... We have the long pig stake. Because, yeah, we can get some guaranteed damage. We have seven perception. We gotta take this, right? We do. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, we have discipline. That's also a good reason. This is also a perception check, but, like, I don't know if I want to roll it, you know? This is a luck check. Let's just do that. I I genuinely... That was a misclick. I, I genuinely meant to click the right side. Because that would have been minus one stamina. Actually, no, it would have been minus one reason, but that would have been fine. The the scariest enemy of all time? Wait, we, we kill exactly here, don't we? Yes, we do, actually, and we can kill harder if we wanted to. Sorry, you you I you do have to excuse me. We we overkilled. We were doing tw we could have done 24, right? It's six in the morning. I have not slept. You're, you're gonna have to cut me a little bit of slack on basic math. Uh, you're, you're done. You're, you're, you're done. You're done, leech girl. You're washed up. You, you think you could walk up to plus four <laughs> base damage? Always help the dog. Oh, it's camp dog. Let's go. Look at him. He's got a little backpack. Oh, he's so cute. We might actually get out of this without the horror catching jury. It's gonna go up to 80, 88? But she, jury might actually live on Harbinger. Of, oh, it's gonna go down because the, we completed a mystery. Jury might live? No way. Jury being a live moment? We have to take sanity here because I do not have the charisma or a light source. So we might have to rest once. Uh, yes, we do have to rest once, because I see a Charisma and I see a Light Source. Do we have Innsmouth Look? We do not have Innsmouth Look. I think we're fine? Uh, let's see. Minus five... Minus five, minus three, right? Yeah, it's just minus five, minus three, so... As long as I rest, we're good. That's crazy. 
Uh, second mystery was probably Fear Festival, and I think Jury made it. I think Jury lived. Oh my god. Takashi-san, it's over. Takashi-san, you have no idea what you just walked up to. Remember, it took us a lot more strength in order to get uh, similar results on uh, Koji with the unlimited EXP bug. Second enemy. Um, God, we didn't fight a lot in this, did we? You? Ah, uh, Jury's not going to make it. I messed up. No! I could have saved her. I could have saved her. Pain. Oh, well, we made it to level 10. Aw, oh, that sucks. If I got it right, she probably would have lived. That was a pretty good run, though. Um, How much bonus damage do we have? Hold on. We had... One, two... So just two from here, but we had three from Blood Frenzy. So we had plus three damage. Is that it? I feel like we had another one, but I guess, yeah, just plus only plus three damage and Fast Swimmer. Oh, we didn't unlock any new achievements, gamers. I'm so sorry to say. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Ben Webweaver. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Horror or whatever else you decide to watch next. Variety... Hopefully we can do variety. But anyways, the whole point of me beating the main tank's ass, the whole point of that entire anecdote was that I really, really want that chess piece. <laughs> so I am going to spend the limited time that I have on Tuesday, because normally what happens on Tuesday is I will do this episode, and then that is all the free time I have, because then it's raid time. So this... Well, I, I suppose since tomorrow is Monday's episode, then we've already done Tuesday's episode. So this is actually Wednesday's episode. So I guess the whole point is mute, or moot, because I thought that this was Sunday and not Monday. But I already did the Monday morning member shoutout, so it would have been on the, the video that's like 80 million years long. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, Jury with All Perks is very fun. I would recommend trying it if uh, you haven't already. We got very lucky that we never just randomly got killed because of Dexterity. Coughing blood... Um, another flashbacks. A infected wound. That does, uh, minus one dexterity, minus one perception. A broken bone. And then there's, like, one other thing, right? There's one other thing that lowers dexterity, or am I crazy? I might be thinking of some really weird esoteric thing that I can't remember, because it's irrelevant. But, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. My name is Webweaver. Take care. I was gonna, I was about to combine stay safe and take care. So I was gonna say take safe care which i mean safe care for yourself is pretty good so i guess uh besides putting it in a very alien way that's uh not horrible you should take care of yourself and you should be safe but both of those things are good um you know sometimes i was late to raid on um well i mean i guess like it would have been today seven hours ago but i was r late to raid yesterday Three three days in the future, by the way. Time is complicated. I was late to raid because I went on a walk with my dog and she wanted to run. And so we just, like, ran for a little bit. Probably freaked out anybody in the complex who was just wondering why some guy was just running with his dog at, like, full speed, at, like, full sprint. But, uh, you know, I don't really care. My dog wanted to run, so he did. And I was just kind of, like, sweaty after running. So I was just like, eh, it's raid time. But I don't know. I'm going to go take a shower real quick. <laughs> and so, and here's the thing. I said I would be five minutes late. I was ten minutes late. And I wasn't the last person to make it. So even though I was late, I still made it before uh, somebody else who did not say they were going to be late. And then... We had technical difficulties for, like, five minutes. <laughs> so you know what, goddammit? Sometimes, when you're trying to coordinate eight people to do something for three hours, showing up a little bit late, it's just fashionably late. You're not gonna start for another 20 minutes anyways, so... hey, No, I shouldn't be like that. We started pretty early this time. I think we started, like, 8.15. 8.20. 
so I would have only been waiting for like five minutes or so. It wasn't that bad. I'm just goofing. I'm just clowning. You know, I have a really great raid group. There's no buts to that statement. I will say, though, the sort of like... The fact that we've gotten like hard stuck on phase one for so long is driving me like a little bit insane because I'll make like, I'll make, gr okay, I, I count two different things as mistakes, okay? Group mistakes and individual wipe mistakes, right? So if I'm in the group mistake category, I do not care because I am at the point for phase one where I have not well okay i couldn't ex could i explain the entire fight i don't think i would be able to use the correct words to make it coherent and it would just be insane but i have the entire fight memorized in a way that makes sense in my brain and assuming that i don't get distracted which is not their fault it's my fault for not being dialed in Although I will say my group regularly throws flashbangs, and getting distracted by said flashbangs is technically, they're throwing the grenades, but I'm looking at them, if that makes sense. Um, but, you know, if I am dialed in, I am not going to make a mistake. Unless something weird happens that is exceptional, like somebody takes extra damage from somewhere, or somebody forgets a GCD and that throws me off, or I forget a GCD, or the game just screws you for no reason because it's it's Final Fantasy XIV and the game just screws you for no reason sometimes. You've all been there. You've mashed your potion button 80 times. Well, you, you, you've mashed your potion button 80 times. You've mashed your sprint key 80 times. It doesn't matter how many times you press it, the button never activates because sprint and potions are just weird for some reason. And so you can be like, okay, I pot at the three second mark and then I pre-pull glare. And then you get to the three second mark, you start mashing your potion button and it doesn't do anything because the game is broken, okay? We've all been there. We've all been here. That happened to me twice. Tonight, or well, not tonight, you know, six and a half hours ago. Um, But like, I have... If I'm dialed in, I have memorized phase one. I do not need to look at the diagrams. I do not need anything explained to me. I have memorized exactly what I need to do. And if I am dialed in, I will not make a mistake. But it is an endurance test to be dialed in for three hours a night, six hours a week. Specifically, when you are doing the same thing over and over and over and over again to the point of it is just a cascading because this is what makes raiding hard endurance wise right is because it is cascading mistakes from one person to the next so it's like main tank f up oh i gotta bleep this am i gonna remember to bleep this i i always search for the f word in the subtitle generation that adobe does so i'll be fine probably but you know main tank messes up everybody else is doing it properly we wipe off tank messes up we wipe. Healer 1, me. Well, I guess I'm Healer 2. To, I, I, healer 1, co-healer, does something wrong. We wipe. Healer 2, me, does something wrong. We wipe. DPS 1, DPS 2, whatever, right? Like, it just goes down the list. It's like eight individual people make a mistake, which wipes everybody. And because somebody else makes a mistake, that gets you, like, off kilter. That gets you off balance you're more likely to make mistakes. It's just a cascading thing. The first pull is the best one, right? Like the, fir the first pull that you have in the night is the best one. And then the last pull that you have in the night is the best one, right? Like we reached in rage on our first, I think we reached in rage on our first pull and then we reached in rage on our last pull. And we had like a few other enrages scattered throughout the night. And then everything else was just wiping the like random mechanics for no reason because people weren't paying attention, because people want to get to phase two. Nobody's paying attention, because they're like, oh yes, yeah, phase one, who cares, right? And so, because of that, it feels really bad when it's you. And so I divide it into two mistakes, right? If the group makes a mistake, and I am in that, then that's a one area of mistake, right? Where it's just like collective brain damage, we all died for no reason. Then there is individual mistakes, which is like, I wiped the group. And the individual mistakes where I wiped the group, which happened twice tonight, feel 
so bad. They feel so bad. I was... I got the Dark Tower, which I'm pretty sure is Astral. Because they swap them. They, they it, It's inconsistent, man. Well, it, it's not actually inconsistent. It's like... For the first three, for A Realm Reborn, Heavensward, and Stormblood, Astral is white, Umbral is dark. And then they flip it. Like, Shadowbringer's Endwalker, Umbral is light, and Astral is dark, right? Um, and so, you know, I have the Astral Tower, which is the Dark Tower, and I need to take it to the right. But I see my umbral tilt debuff because when you get blasted by the lasers it changes the color of that debuff and so i just glance at my debuffs i see blue i think to myself oh i'm a tower and so i run left and i crash in literally it was almost pixel perfect how well those towers were overlapped like it was almost beautiful. Like, it was performance art. Like, those towers were like... If you were throwing darts at a dartboard, the dart would pierce the other dart in half straight down the middle and hit the board, right? It would split the other dart straight down the middle. It was beautiful. And then the other time I got us wiped was... I swear to God, man. The, the healing for Para 3 is only obnoxious because it's random when a healer is going to be in the center and it's easy and when a healer is going to be because we started calling it out like both the healers we started calling out where we go and so if i hear he's going north and i'm going south we both know it's gonna suck and it's gonna be horrible because if one healer is going west or one healer is going east it's random by the way uh one there are four supports and each one takes a cardinal, basically, right? One person's taking north, one person's taking east, one person's taking south, one person's taking west. If one of the healers is taking west or east, uh, which, I mean, I'm always going to be taking east, he's always going to be taking west because we do healer anchors. If he's going west or I'm going east or we're both going west and east, it's the easiest goddamn mechanic of all time. I don't even have to use any cooldowns. I can just spam AoE heals and the game takes care of itself. But God forbid one of us is north or one of us is south. It's the most stressful goddamn thing because... And we have a system. We have a system for this. And I just messed up the system, which is I start healing the bottom of the party list first, and he starts healing the top of the party list. Or I think for him, it's like he heals, like, the range. No, he heals the male. <laughs> God damn, this is why we wipe. Because um, I can only get, like... Like... Uh, without losing DPS, because this is important, without losing DPS, I can only heal manually about two to three people, depending on how I manage my resources early. And I've been leaning towards three people, because what ends up happening is if one of us is north or one of us is south, our AoE heals aren't going to hit everybody. And even though I put the Lily Bell in the middle, you know, people like to go to Narnia. And so... Or they have to go to Narnia, I guess, because of how the DPS have to position for tethers. I don't know. All I know is that depending on where they are, the ranged are the squishiest goddamn people in the world. And it's like, I have to... Like, soulless Benison, depending on where the healers are. And I have to, like, manually soulless, like, two to three people... And it sucks, man. And it's just the consistency of it. Because it's like, I wouldn't mind a mechanic where I have to manually heal people because they're not in range of my AoE heals. Now, you might be thinking, oh, healer with a skill issue. Sure, sure, sure. I do have a skill issue. I'm objectively, statistically below average at the game right now. I peaked in the Asphodelos with above average purples at best and like averages at worst but here's the thing despite that they've made heal they just keep making healing easier and so it just gets frustrating to the point where it's like they all they want me to do is use my 30 yalm radius aoe heals 
and that applies to 99.99% of situations. And then like 0.1% of the time, there's a configuration where the healers have to go away from everybody else because everybody else is stacked in the middle. Healers have to go north and so north and south to take the towers and bait the plus or the cross puddles or the place the AoEs down, I suppose. They're not puddles. You just, you put them down on the ground and then they, you know, they big AoEs. And then because you do that, that means that depending on, like, if I'm going south, then that means the northmost team, whether they're on east or whether they're on west, I have to manually GCD heal both of them because my AoE heals aren't going to reach them. But I also have to use AoE heals too be so that I don't die. And it's just, it's annoying because it's like, they don't ever... They can't design healing in Final Fantasy XIV. It never feels good. Because if you have to heal, 99.99% .99 of the time, Medica 2 will get you through the situation unharmed. But if it's a savage fight or an ultimate fight where there's lots of raid wides back to back, oh my god, you actually have to think about what you're doing? No way. And by that, I mean you just press Medica 2 and then Aflatus Rapture or Cure 3 or in god knows what situation medical one i've had to use that like twice uh during like p8s for like optimal <laughs> natural alignment healing i feel like such a nerd saying that but like you know it's just so uh like there's very few instances where i actually get to feel like a cool healer you know there's very few moments where I get to feel like, oh yeah, healing is fun, right? Like, the, the reason why I heal is because my damage button is a single button and that I press 90% of the time, and then every 25 to 27 seconds I press Dia, and then every 40 seconds I press Size. Like, the fact that, like, that's why I heal. That is exactly why I heal. For There is no other reason why I heal other than it's easy. But, like... And I'm not ashamed of that. I like playing the easy job. I like playing the easy class. I played League of Legends as stat-checking champions like Trundle uh, and Gnosis for a long time, you know? Uh, I'm getting more... And now I'm playing Briar, who when you press W, she plays herself for like seven seconds. <laughs> so, you know, uh, where I'm going with this is that I like doing the easy job. And the thing about it is they don't know how to make heal. they don't know how to do healing like the most fun i've ever had healing was p8s because the mechanics were puzzles where you were constantly taking damage and it was really fun having to balance healing people and doing the puzzle mechanic at the same time high concept was a banger love high concept high concept one and high concept two are fantastic and the uh, figuring out who the ifrits are and who i have to heal rapidly like that was fun probably because there wasn't a damage component like i think if i had to do dps to the boss like para 3 sucks because i have to do dps to the boss and heal people and i have to worry about losing uptime or like losing damage but like actually wait no you don't have to do uptime in para 3 do you no, no, it's Limit Cut where you don't have uptime. You have uptime in Para 3. Oh, God. Um, but, like, you know, I, I, I'm i just so cooked right now. I can't even remember. I'm getting my fights mixed up. But, like, High Concept 2 is really good. Like, I, I have a lot of nostalgia for High Concept 2 and P3S. P3S had a unique healer mechanic where you soaked a puddle so your next healing ability was on crack cocaine. And that was really fun. That was a great... That that was That's a good fight just because it's a healer mechanic right like they have had a couple of moments where being a healer is fun and then most of the fights let me just say this okay every single goddamn two minute burst window of like i don't remember asphodelos that well i'll be honest with you and i wasn't playing at a level that where i was aware enough of what i was doing so even though those were my best farces i'm not gonna count those because i i still feel like i had no idea what i was doing in asphodelos in abyssos and in anabasios you have this thing they introduced it with endwalker i'm pretty sure but it's all i've ever known where every two minutes everyone's damage skills and buffs sync up every two minutes so everyone is popping their party buffs at the two minute mark so you're at your most powerful every two minutes right so every two minute burst window in this godforsaken these last two tiers 
has been a movement mechanic with damage going out to the party. And it is so frustrating because it's like, okay, this is my time to do damage. And it's like, oh wait, no, I can't do damage because it's purgation. Oh, don't even, oh no. I'm ending the episode now. Stay safe out there, bye. I don't want to, listen, listen. If you were there when I was progging P7S, just go back and look, hold on, hold on. I need to end the episode because this is gonna, this is gonna send me down Hello, a, a, a dark path. The false web weaver for two seconds of the final early access episode. Look at the live videos and scroll down. You will see, <laughs> you will see those godforsaken P8S diagrams, but also where are the P7S diagrams? I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Where are they? I'm looking for the P7S diagram, uh, for the thumbnail, because you can see a lot of the P8S diagrams as thumbnails. Oh, did I start doing it with P8S? I might have started doing it with P P8S, but, like, there were... If you remember, like, if you were there, that was miserable. Like, P7S is, like, the worst savage fight in Pandemonium. I, I am 100% behind that. I think P7S is like the worst savage fight in Pandemonium, and all the other savage fights I've done have been, in other tiers have been better than P7S. Like, P7S is so bad. I cannot, like... I, I don't even know how to, like, articulate how much I despise P7S. Like, P7S is rancid. Like, horrible. The stupid tree. The the worst savage rating of my goddamn life was in P7S. Anyways, uh, stay safe out there, bye.